Hey there and welcome to another G.I. Joe War on Cobra event information video. We have just found out a few hours ago, it's, I think, at least I did in the, just not too long ago, what this next event is going to be. But before I get into that, I'm going to open my last week's event boxes. I was able to earn 6,370 coins, which typically is a little bit higher than usual but with these new survival events it's not as high as you can get I should should have been able to get up closer to 7,000 and as much as I was really enjoying this event I kind of got a little bit busy and dropped the ball and so I didn't earn as much as I could in this case I can open up 21 boxes it's a very odd number and I don't have the whale or Dr. Mindbender so I kind of need to somehow get both of them with 21 boxes okay quit laughing because I know a lot of you don't think that's possible I almost don't think it's possible so I'm gonna start with the side that I want the most and I want the whale well I have wanted the whale just because but dr. mindbender I played with leveled up he's actually not terribly bad I can see how he could be used in a few places but I'm going for that whale first so I'm ready to go I can buy what I'll do is I'll probably I'll buy 10 GI Joe boxes then 10 Cobra boxes with the set of five just to make it quicker and if I get the whale right away I might jump to Cobra and see what I can get because I want at least one if I can get one of each I'll be excited I'll be <laughs> very happy so let's go with the first buyout set of five boxes. Come on, cross fingers. Please give me a whale. 30 minutes speed up. One gold cargo. One silver cargo. <gasps> no whale. No, I was hoping for it right away. I was getting very greedy. Let's see what's in the boxes, though. Maybe I'll get a whale in one of these. That'd be hilarious. Eight bazooka. Five mobat. Oh, I got an eagle hawk. 9 Vamp, 16 Smoke Bombardment, 8 Rocket Barrage, 10 Paratroopers, 1 Training Manual, 2 Minutes Speed Up, 241 Credits. Make me nervous here. 3 Beachhead, 1 Ent Blast, 6 Paratroopers, 7 Devil Fish, 8 Rocket Barrage, 9 Steel Battalion, 1 Training Manual, and 58 Credits. Golly, I only got one chance left with this by five I'm extremely nervous <laughs> I'm afraid to push the button <laughs> oh I'm gonna be super disappointed if I don't get them ah oh, should have been up first I think five training manual 30 minutes speed up one master training manual I would trade everything that I've just gotten for a whale <gasps> oh man What's in the silver cargo? Three bazooka, one beachhead, 14 paratrooper, six bombardment, eight devilfish, two megalodon, one expert training manual, two minutes speed up, 81 credits. What's in the gold? Please a whale. Eight gung ho, five mobat, scarlet, okay. 11 seal battalion, 11 smoke bombardment, seven rocket barrage, 14 paratroopers, one five minute speed up, and 192 credits. I would give every card that I just opened and diamonds and credits and manuals for one whale. Oh. Well, I said I'd open 10 on the Joe side and 10 on the Cobra side. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll get Dr. Mindbender in like the first 5. I kind of want to do it one by one though because I think I may need all that I can get for the whale. Ugh. Oh. All right, let's go. Come on, Dr. Mindbender, right away. Right away, right away. Advanced training manuals, 12 experimental enhancers, one silver cargo, one... I'm getting a lot of cargoes. I don't need these cargos. Two moray, two missile bats, nine cobra troopers, nine piranha, 
six tracked mines, six saw vipers, one advanced training manual, 81 credits, one gold box, six stimulants, seven missile bats, a snake, eight stinger, 13 piranha, 13 saw viper, nine missile strike, one expert training manual, 192 credits. Hmm. I mean, I know the odds aren't aren't great. I understand that. Well, let's do it again. Man. Three Neuro Enhancers, one Bronze Cargo, one Titanium Cargo, one Gold Cargo, 2,500 credits. What's in the Cargos? Nine Cobra Troopers, four Black Dragons, two Maggots, one Ex training manual 18 credits it's in the titanium nine stimulants nine incinerator one mamba 32 piranha 30 saw viper 22 cobra trooper 20 missile strike three black dragon expert training manual 460 credits and the gold cargo is left five hiss eight maggots gonna have a lot of maggots one Mantis, 13 Stingers, 15 Missile Strikes, 7 Saw Vipers, 8 Cobra Troopers, 2 Minutes Speed Up, and 241 Credits. Alright, let's go back to the Joe side. Let's go back to the Joe side. Use our last box. And actually, I might have... It crashed. See, even the game isn't liking my odds right now. I've been reading quite a bit that there's a fair amount of people who aren't getting these. And that they open, even the ones that do, have opened like 18 boxes. A whole bunch of boxes, maybe 20 boxes, just on one side. And if I really wanted the whale, I probably should have just opened it all on one side. But I want both. I'm greedy. Alright, one box left on the Joe side. Can I do it? No. 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 Six sparks. Yay, I want sparks. Two steel battalion. Seven devilfish. One five minute speed up. 25 credits. I resemble all of everybody's disappointment out there because I am disappointed as well. I got... Compared to the whale and Dr. Mindbender, I generally, I feel like I got crap. I'll be honest here. <laughs> um, I do have... I do have one idea. I'm going to investigate that idea real quick. Trying to decide. I could exchange... Oh, here it is. Uh, 1,000... Vault coins for 100 event coins, and I won't even have enough to open another box. Well, that's that. That is that. Now, if they were a really super smart company, they would, especially with the Whale and Dr. Mindbender, they're trying to charge a lot of money. They should give everyone one of those anyway. That way they can try to see who will buy the uh, the booster box for like 90 bucks. This is probably my worst event ever. And anyone out there who thinks I get everything that's really awesome and cool, see right there, I don't. I can be disappointed just like you. Alright, so, what's this reward? It's news. Don't forget to spend your event coins. Good, I just did. Alright. So let's kind of get back to the fun part. Now we're going to talk about the event. So over on the d3go.com forums, they posted, let's see, May 5, it says. What was it, yesterday? It's been a while, apparently. Edited May 5, 2020 at 1021 a.m. Or maybe it's UTC, I don't know. All right, well, that gives you a hint, although we don't recognize her for how she looks because I've never seen her look like this. We're getting CoverGirl. 
which I'm pretty pleased about. CoverGirl is my number one female Joe that I like. Uh, Agent Helix would probably be number two. I know all you Scarlet lovers. I CoverGirl and Agent Helix are my top two favorites. Probably Scarlet's number third. Number third, number three. So I'm pretty excited that we're going to get CoverGirl, even if she really doesn't look anything like her. So let me just read this disclaimer here at the top. Important note, anything listed below is subject to change before release. I'm going to add to that or after release. There hasn't been a good, um, the last few weeks have been kind of difficult. We've gotten a, a bunch of changes and a bunch of things not work in the last few weeks. Even including event missions changed after the event started. So hopefully, bump, sorry. Hopefully, uh, yeah, anyway. We'll try to update any changes in a timely manner, but please keep in mind the info below is not guaranteed. That is one of the most truest statements I have ever heard or read from a, a game company because usually they don't change. It's very rare that something changes or if it does, you don't see it. So that is one of the first times I read a statement like that and think that is true. Yes, that is absolutely true. Things could change. And at this point, probably will. So what's going to happen, supposedly, in this event coming up on the 8th? Well, featured hero, cover girl. She's a hero. Model of mayhem. Because she is, or used to be, a model. And um, start time is May 8th through May 14th. Then we're going to get the Baroness, on the other hand. She's back. I know what everyone is... I've gotten a lot of Baroness, so I don't know. I'm only going after the Joe box on this one. I don't care about the Cobra stuff. So what do we have to do? Let's take a look at Model of Mayhem event requirements, shall we? So I will make the assumption, be careful with that, the assumption she is an epic card because Baroness is epic. So Cover Girl, all out vehicle support. Mechanic and driver extraordinaire. Is she a mechanic? I mean, she's a mechanic. Yeah, I just read that. Is she a healer? I would be disappointed if she was a healer, but that's what it makes it sound like. Now, what would be really cool is if, like the Baroness to the Hiss, she can hop into some vehicle and boost it, even though none of these vehicles are hers. We need the Wolverine for that. Or at least, like, a maybe if she hops in the Mobat, she's going to, like, take over the Mobat from Steeler, maybe. And uh, we don't know what she'll do. I'm just guessing here. We've got... We're, we're never given any information until the game starts what these characters special abilities might be so we have no clue what she's gonna do what do we have to do as of right now research and development aren't we all excited for that one because we've done it for what two three weeks in a row now i couldn't even finish it on the gi joe side because i'm just tapped out and i've got too many cards to get i can't do it this often i was able to squeak it in on the cobra side but i won't be able to this week so research and development, upgrade your cards, two, four, and six cards. Conquest victories, easy. Four, eight, and 12, featured unit damage. This sucks. Um, we can do it with Baroness, but how do you do featured unit damage until you draw a cover girl? If you're like me and you didn't draw Dr. Mindbender or the whale and you had featured unit damage, that's a, that's a mission you can't complete. So, Cover Girl, if you don't get her, you can't complete it. I don't like when they put featured unit damage out on an event that features a brand new character. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to do an, a proper, not unboxing, but cargo opening next week. Because I'm going to have to open them throughout the week to try to get her. Campaign victories, easy. Two, four, and six victories. Total war victories, even easier with survival mode. Five, ten, and fifteen, and any unit damage. The theory is it's easy. Depends on who you use, but that can be done pretty quick. Just do a bunch of battles. So, anything to note that's special about these? Well, total war victories, you can play survival mode, and you can go through one time ten battles, 
that'll uh, qualify. Now, unless things have changed, we're supposed to get an update. I don't know if we've gotten the one, was it um, 1.1.9 or something like that, whatever the latest update. I don't know if we've gotten it yet or if the fix will be there. But when you do survival mode, if you don't see Total War victories updated, close your game, reopen it, and it will show your victories. So survival will count. Camp uh, campaign will not count to towards total war victories. I don't know why, because it says win any battle. That's that's not true. They're lying. Campaign victories with or without battle cargo don't count for whatever reason. So campaign victories, that's straightforward. Do the story mode, the yellow background with the GI Joe or Cobra character. Those are pretty quick and easy. Featured unit damage, you know, just throw out your featured unit character feature character unit whatever and just let them battle baroness shouldn't be really hard um now if you put the baroness in a vehicle last i knew it won't count you must have the character out on the field by themselves baroness is pretty if you've got her leveled up a little ways and got some of her ranks she's actually a pretty powerful character i would just throw her out just do a few dummy battles, throw her out, and let her just clear the field as much as possible. Keep your air units or your tanks or your other characters kind of in the background for support. Um, but just let her mow down with her one shot, one kill as best as possible. You might you might be able to do that pretty quick. Conquest victories, player versus player. The red icon with the G.I. Joe or Cobra character. That also should be pretty easy. You have to do 12 to get them all. So when you equal that to Total War Victories, you do Conquest and Survival, you're going to wipe Total War Victories you know, like crazy. You're going to get through that really fast. Research and Development. I didn't sound very pleased with it. I'm not really pleased with it, but you must upgrade your cards, your units, six of them, to get full, full points, full uh, event coins, six of them, six of them. For us higher level who are doing like 1200 or more cards wow this is one of these events that is or missions i think is going to have to eventually go away because it's not i don't think it's sustainable so yeah that's it now the buyout box this is what makes me think she's an epic your bonus is reward if you get it all whoever gets it i haven't read or seen anybody who has actually gotten all of them for the buyout bonus yet you get 45 cover girl cards so what makes me think it's epic is down here at the bottom we'll just zoom in on that you can get one um yeah one set of four cards three sets of two cards and five sets of one that makes me think it's an epic buyout box and then there's all the other standard there's the cargoes the bronze the silver the gold the titanium i guess yeah silver's in there you get uh rare faction specific rank up as campaign medals or enhancers the neuro enhancers the um the other ones the more rare ones <laughs> and the, the the coins you get credits you get diamonds la di da and even someone here has post posted what's her abilities yeah it would be really nice to know what her abilities are but we won't know not until the event goes live for me, the event will go live six and a half hours, I think. I think it's around 6 p.m. my time. So six and a half hours or so. Provided it actually will go live on time for everybody, Android and iOS together. We're getting, to, we're getting real used to how the game works. So anyway, that's all I've got for you. I'm not really going to... And I can look at... Do you need me to look at Baroness? We've all looked at Baroness. There she is. Oh. Uh, pure DPS leader. Her base kit and upgrades are built around dealing as much damage as possible. See? Right there it even says. By the way, we are doing survival again on both of them. I think survival is here to stay. I just hope it gets fixed. Because it hasn't been doing so good. It's It's been a, a tough survive to survive it. Same things, research, development, conquest, featured unit damage, campaign. It's always the same, Cobra or G.I. Joe. Same things, 45 Baroness cards for the buyout reward. One, four sets of, 
one set of four cards, three sets of two cards, and five sets of one card. So, but really, most everybody should have a Baroness by now or multiples. I would imagine most people even have her leveled up at least a couple levels. Because I get her a lot. All right, and that's it. I can't think of anything else to share with you today. Um, no, that's it. I can't think of anything. So I hope this you found this helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below, and I'll do my best to answer you. It's a wonderful, at least here, it's a great day out in... Oh, this isn't Friday. I usually do this on a Friday because we wait so long. This is Thursday. That's crazy. Totally thinking. Don't have a good weekend yet. Have a good weekend starting tomorrow. <laughs> if you like the video, hit the thumbs up for me. And, you know, subscribe if you want to be notified of more of these videos. Have a wonderful day.